Sharky Mahalo. This is Fiona the Slobbery Farm Pup and thank you for joining us today on this very exciting episode of Zero Cost Gardening. Today's episode is so exciting in fact that we can't call it Zero Cost Gardening. That's right, we're renaming the whole stinking channel just for today's episode. So be excited. about Shaosuji Ban. Shaosuji Ban is the ancient Japanese art form of preserving, beautifying, and waterproofing wood. They do this by charring Japanese cedar. There's a chemical reaction in the cedar. The uh, cells actually shrink as they expel any moisture when they're burnt, and it just creates a wall that preserves the wood against water, insects, disease, whatever might make your wood degrade. Uh, so we're gonna give it a try. Technically, we're not doing Shaosuji Ban because we're using the wrong kind of wood. We don't have any Japanese cedar. We do have yellow pine from Canada, so we're going to use that. That's why we have this board behind us, uh, and it's a good board. But you won't be if you stick around for today's episode because basically we're going to be playing with fire. <laughs> Shaosuji Ban is a great chemical free way to turn cheap wood into something that might last 10, 15, 20 years or longer. So we're going to give it a try. And more importantly, it's an awesome excuse to play with a freaking flamethrower. So I'm excited. Are you excited? Are you excited? Let's just get started. Uh, first, don't do any of this at home. Only a real idiot would do this at home. And only a total fool would do any of this while we're in flip-flops. So don't do it. Should we get started? Let's get started. Let's go. All right, guys, the first and arguably most important step is to char the wood. You got to char every side till it's completely black. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, it's good char coming along. So this is kind of taking a long time, so we're going to explore some other methods of charring the wood more efficiently. <laughs> okay, so the lighter didn't work at all. It was a horrible idea. I shouldn't say anything, but it was actually Fiona's idea. I had nothing to do with it. Uh, we're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to harness the power of the dragon to make some dragon wood, and we're going to use dragon breath. Sushi Bun! Yucky Sushi! Look at that char! What an awesome flame! Ooh, it's hot! Are you on fire? Yeah, it's hot like fire! What? Right there! There's the fire! What the? All right, guys, here's what we're really going to use. This is a Red Dragon propane torch. It's just like a roofing torch. Uh, this one, I think, is a weed burning torch. Burns at 500,000 BTU. You hook it up to a standard propane cylinder. You light it up, and um, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's get to it.
right, guys, now it's time for the last step. We're going to seal the wood. The way we seal the wood is by using a natural product. What's traditional in Chao Su Jiban is tongue oil or another natural oil. Uh, tongue oil is 100% pure, completely natural, and it works great. Uh, you can also try boiled linseed oil. That's also natural and it also gives you a good seal. Um, these oils, they spread pretty far. So this little, this little bottle is going to cover many, many boards for you. But if you want, you can cut it 50-50 with mineral spirits. That way you get a little more for your dollar. Uh, mineral spirits isn't technically natural at all. So if you want to be 100% pure organic, then um, avoid the mineral spirits. If you want to get the, the best seal possible, probably the, uh, the best idea is to go ahead and cut this with mineral spirits 50-50. Wipe down every board, each side. Make sure you get the ends really good. You let it dry for 12 hours. And then use straight tongue oil for the second application uh, and, and wipe that down real thick layer. Let it dry. The, uh, the first, the cut layer, it's going to soak into the wood a little bit better if it's a little thinner. Because when we burn the wood, we shrank all the pores. We actually minimize and minimalize and uh, we shrunk the cells. Uh, so anyway, we're going to move the puppy and get started. my friends here we have a quick water bead test we've only done the first application of tongue oil but as you can see it's already doing a pretty good job now is a great time to go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you can know first when we post new content online hey thank you so much for watching today's episode of freaking flamethrower gardening please tell all your friends about us and if you didn't like it, well then tell all the people that annoy you. You got a must-watch video at Surprise End and they need to check out. Guys and gals, please be safe. Don't play with fire. We had tons of redundant safety precautions while filming this just off camera. Also, we have years of safely working with fire experience. Um, another thing to keep in mind is when you're using your wire brush, you should definitely wear a mask to keep your lungs ash-free. We couldn't get any masks right now because of COVID-19, but at least wrap a t-shirt around your head, something. Uh, also, do not wear flip-flops while flamethrowing. Only a fool would do that. And if you do use a propane torch, do what Jimmy Jack from the South OBT strip always says, and make sure to keep your hose behind you. <laughs> I'm Sharky Mahalo. I'll leave you with some images of how we've used Chosuji ban around our garden, but we're just getting started. We don't even know what applications it might have. Uh, as my Aunt Patty from New Jersey, the amazing gardener, would always say, Thanks for joining us today. We sure are glad that you decided to turn up. <laughs>